This is she. And who are you? Yes, I know him. Well, well what do you mean? What's between us? Well, a mountain, a valley, a river, an ocean. What 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 do you mean? What's between us? We seeing each other. I said I know him, so we do see each other. What's your question? Get to the point. Yes. If that's what you're asking, yes, we've been dating. Like boyfriend, girlfriend, dating. So how did you get my number now? How you get my number? <laughs> you went through his phone? Who are you supposed to be to him? Oh. Yeah, uh, okay. Your girlfriend? Uh, now your man. Oh, he's your man. You got a property. You got any legal documents to show that he's your property? I'm not being rude. Are you guys engaged? Oh, you're not engaged either. Sure. You got drop it. You got real drop it. Gosh. That's pretty good. Mm, no, I don't I don't mean to sound like that, but seriously, you're gonna go through a man phone and call me a man you're not engaged to you. You're not engaged to. He's not claiming you. How long y'all been together? Oh, okay. <laughs> About the same here. Look, before you start calling other females in the man phone and tripping, let me tell you something, sister's a sister. Let is sharing is caring. Have you ever heard that? Sharing is caring. The man is not ready to settle down with you. I'm not ready to settle down with him. You think he's the only person who makes the decision as to this is who I want to be with? He could be deciding to be with me and I could be deciding, uh-uh, you're not my type. You're full of crap. You're not a faithful type. You're a cheater, this and that. I could tell him a whole bunch of things and reasons why I don't want him. He can buy his ring and get on his knee. I can leave him right on his knee, take his ring and shove it in his nose and walk away. So, baby girl, stop being so desperate over a man who hasn't even really asked you to marry him yet, calling other females and stuff. Okay? If anything, you just need to stay in your lane and stop trying to do too much. You're trying to do too much. The more you do too much, the less interesting you are to that man, man. Ah, calling my phone? You don't even know me? What, you don't think I deserve to have a boyfriend? No, on a serious note, you need to stay calm and be his girlfriend or get out of the picture because this is not a competition. I'm not competing with you. He and myself, we're dating. If I feel that he's good for me and he pops the question, I will say yes. If I feel that he's not good for me and he pops the question, I will say no. But until then, until he does that to you too, you just need to stay in your lane and stop calling other females. Okay? This is not healthy for you. I care for you, sister, sister. I'm talking to you. This is not healthy for you. You're causing yourself too much unnecessary pain and suffering over a man who hasn't introduced you to his people. He hasn't expressed anything openly about you. He met me. We started dating. I never knew nothing about you. You sound more like an ex who desperately trying to get him back. Because I'm not going through his phone. Because we're not on that level yet. Shoo. Engage me and tell me, say, I'm your everything. Show me to the rest of the world. Throw a party. I know your mom, your dad. We, we're like one family now. Oh, I probably still won't go through his phone. But man, you ain't even at that level yet. You're going through his phone. That's why I say you sound more like an ex. You know. Well, you make a point. There's no way you can be his ex and still have access to his phone. But maybe you are that kind of ex where he feel that he can still be using and, 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 and using as a doormat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that. You don't want to call my phone. And I'm very interested in knowing why you call my phone. What made you so brave to call my phone? So a stranger you call my phone. Listen, my dear. Just stay in your lane. I stay in my lane. We both be dating him, okay? All right? You need me to do what? Stop talking to him? Ah, uh, that's impossible. You're very selfish. Sharing is scary. You're very selfish. I can't stop talking. I can't stop talking to him.
I can't start talking to him because you call my phone. Hmm. Obviously, you're trying too hard. Stop trying hard. The emotional pain and something you're putting yourself through is for nothing. It's for nothing. Listen, he's not your property. Okay? I'm not trespassing. So you need to stop calling. Don't call let's don't call any other female phone anymore. Okay? You're supposed to be telling that man, oh, since you're messing with other females, I'm out of the picture, you can go ahead and be with them. Okay, well, if you're not gonna say that, then you have no business calling me either. Oh, so now you want to get into profanity and calling me out of my name? See, that's why I say you are the desperate ex trying to get him back. You know, all that cursing ain't going to do nothing but motivate me to be closer to him. Hmm? To be closer to him and pretend that more and more that you don't exist. Because you sound, you, you sound so cheap and desperate right now. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you that you got to be cursing me. And the man not even engaged to you. I feel very, you are so cheap. Wow, I feel sad for you. You think I got to listen to this? You don't want to call me. My dear, hang up your phone. Save your precious minutes. Because I know you're probably paying for the phone that he's using to call me. Listen, if you're that type of down-to-earth female who would make, make all desperate measures for the man to be with you, my dear, thank you for calling me. I will, I will, I will stop cooking for him. You cook for him. You do his laundry, you take care of him, let him come prove to me that he wants to be with me. You do all the labor work, you do all the headache work, you do all the pain and suffering work, you do all the frustration work. I will sit down, relax, and be totally relaxed. So he can know that I'm not full of drama, now you full of drama. You going to his phone, you doing this, you doing that. You know what, sometimes when he come into his house, I will purposely put underwear in his pocket or something like that. You know, when he bring in his laundry, I will purposely put some of my clothes in it so he can bring it to your house. You know, you put yourself out there for people to hurt you. That's what you're doing. You're not even listening to me. I'm trying to put some sense in your head. You're not listening. I feel bad for you, man. But I'm not the type you can scare. I'm not the type you can scare. You sound so scared right now. You sound so scared that this man is going to leave you. The more scary, scared you are, the more desperate you are, the weaker you appear to him. And guess what? <laughs> you will be at my engagement party with this, your so-called man you call your man. And you will be coming in. When you see him engaging somebody and marrying somebody, it will be me. Or remember this voice, so it will be me. And I will invite you to be part of my wedding. Don't worry. If you don't stop, you are losing. Guess who you are losing to? Me. Since you don't want to listen, you get on there crying, yelling, screaming, cursing me. What do your curse will do to me? Nothing. It making me look more beautiful and more relaxed and more feeling like I'm victorious. You sound so mad that you're losing.